Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you this little mini Sports TV full HD body camera. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. Alright guys, this camera was sent to me for free to do this review, so that's what we're doing right here. Okay, so let's get the little camera out. Well, let's pick it up here. This has got a cord. They sent a little USB um, USB 3.0 to USB-C converter. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen one of those before. A little bitty pen, I guess that's to reset the camera settings, and some manuals, and a thank you card there. I'm sure you get something if you go and give them a review on Amazon.com. Alright, so let's look at this baby. Okay, so it's pretty small. I mean, it's smaller than most body cameras. I can see that it's got some LEDs here, and these are infrareds, and then there's the white LEDs. Okay, it's got kind of a rough texture to it, so it's not easy to slip out of the hands. Okay, I see what that is. That is to uh, plug it in with this right here. That's cool. So, huh, yeah. I can see this. This is kind of neat. You can you can plug this into here, USB-C, plug that into the computer, or you can plug it that in there and plug it into something that takes USB-C. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's neat. Neat deal. Little Velcro stretchy strap here. It's got a little clip mount here to clip it on the things. It turns around in a circle right there so you can clip it in different ways. That's pretty cool there. All right. Well, now we know what comes in the box and what it looks like and about how big it is. Now I'm going to go out, take it out in the field, do a bunch of testing with it, come back, show you the results, and let you know how it performs. So hold on. All right, guys, so I'm back after doing some testing with the little camera here, and let's talk about how it did. Okay, so um, I took it out in the field and did some daytime footage with it, and let me just start off by showing you a montage of that footage. Okay, so video quality wise, I mean, it's not horrible. It does take okay video. Um, the color balance is, is off on it. It's not really color corrected, but uh, it's usable. Um, you could, if you needed precision color balance, you could, you could correct it in post-processing, but it's not so far off that it's horrible. Um, the, the clarity is okay on it. It's not bad. Um, it obviously does not do well in a movie environment. It has no stabilization whatsoever. So just walking with it, and I had it actually handheld, guys, not actually put on a pocket. And I was trying to hold it as still as possible, and it was just all over the place. So I would say that this is not a body-worn camera. Um, this is more clip-on somewhere and let it record in a stable environment. It would do better. Um, you know, so... Like I said, there's not much to say there other than that it is what it is. And, um, you know, if what the quality of the footage is good enough for you, for your purposes, then, you know, that's that's all that it needs to be. All right. Now let's talk about nighttime. It does have the uh, four little LED uh, infrared emitters here. And um, it those do not come on automatically. You actually have to turn those on manually if you want to use it at night. I'm going to throw you some nighttime footage that I used it with and uh, let it will show you what it does. So here's that footage.
All right, so as you can see, pretty much it doesn't have very good nighttime functionality. Um, there is really, I mean, I showed you my feet and you can probably see maybe four or five feet in front of you. Um, somebody would have to be basically standing pretty much in arm's length to really kind of see them clearly if you wanted to use these. Um, they are dark LEDs and essentially, basically, when they're on, you can't see them. Even in the dark, you can't tell that they're on. Um, you have to pay attention when you turn them on. There's no LCD, so this needs, uh, you know, you have to pay attention to it. So let me show you how you turn those on. Okay, so first you got to turn the camera on by pressing and hold that. The camera is on when the light is solid blue, okay? When it's solid blue, on. When you want to record, press that. It will blink four times, and now it's recording. It has no light to tell you that it's recording. You just have to watch those four blinks. So you got to pay attention to your process because I actually did a whole hour's worth of filming and the camera wasn't even on. So you got to pay attention. It blinks four times and now it's actually recording right now. Okay. Um, if you want to turn the infrared lights on, you have to press the power button twice really quickly. Like, okay, you see that one little blue flash. Now the lights are on. You cannot see that they're on. There's no visible light coming from them, but they are on, okay? Uh, there's no way to tell if they're on or not, um, just other than that one little flash, and you got to press that button twice, okay? Now, when you press that, it turns the recording off, and then the light goes to blue. And that is basically how you use this sucker, you know? You press that, it starts the recording, one, two, three, four... Okay, you want to turn the infrared... The infrared lights stay on until you turn them off. Okay, they don't turn off unless you power the camera down. So if you want to turn them off, you press that twice. Go ahead, let's stop the recording. Okay, now let's turn the, the infrareds off. And then it has the red. That tells you, that little red beat tells you that the infrared lights are off. You want to turn them on? Well, that's starting to record. I didn't quite... That little blue beat that you see there, a little flash, that's the infrared lights are on. And the red tells you that they're off. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, you got to really pay attention. And there's no way for you to tell until you plug this in and look at the files whether you're actually getting anything. So, um, it's kind of one of those things that if you know how to use it, you can use it. If you don't know how to use it, then you can't. It does have a microphone. It does pick up sound. Um... It is not waterproof. Uh, it might be able to tolerate a light sprinkle, but there's no cap right here to cap that off, so I wouldn't really get any water in there at all. Um, how long does it film? Well, I actually fully charge it and set it to record and just let it record, all right? And I got five hours and 47 minutes of recording out of it, okay? Five hours, 47... So almost six hours of recording um, out of it on a full battery charge, just letting it sit there and letting the battery run down. Uh, interesting enough is that it has a 32 gigabyte internal memory and it almost completely used that up in that five hours. So basically it has enough internal memory to record for five hours or five, almost six hours. And that's just so happens to be exactly how long the battery lasts. So they kind of balance that out. All right, guys. Well, there's nothing more for me to really say about this little camera. It is what it is. It's kind of a neat little deal. It's it's a budget little camera. It is a little video camera. You could use it, I guess, as a clandestine camera, a spy camera or something like that. You could clip it up anywhere, set it to record and get about six hours worth of footage out of it. Um, it's not the best, highest quality footage on earth, but it is usable. Um, and it's a cute little thing. So um, it just depends on whether what you want to use it for and whether it will serve your purpose. Um, I will throw a link to it in the description of the video if you're interested in it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.